In lessons 12, 13, and 14, students are working more with their knowledge of volume formulas. Students are very familiar with volume equals length times width times height. Okay, but there is going to be a new formula that's introduced in sixth grade. It's volume equals area of the base, or big B, times H, the height. If you look at this formula right here, length times width is really the um, formula for area of a rectangle, area of a square, area of a parallelogram. Okay, and the base of a rectangular prism is a rectangle. That's why it's called a rectangular prism. So length times width can also be called big B, your base. Okay? So for this lesson, when you're taking notes, I want you to pay attention to something I'm doing very clearly. I'm looking at this rectangular prism. I have a length, I have a width, I have a height. I'm going to write down my formula first. Length times width times height. Then I'm going to plug in my variable, my numbers. 15 times 1 and a half times 3. Students are very used to changing 1 and a half with, into a decimal on their calculator, but for tonight's notes, I'm actually going to show you how to do it as a fraction. I did 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3 over 2. And now I'm going to do 15 times 3 in my head, I know is 45. 45 times 3 is going to give me 135. 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 1 is 2. Now I'm going to do 135 divided by 2, and I get a volume for this rectangular prism of 67.5. And this is going to be cubic inches. Okay, because what you're really trying to figure out is how many 1 inch by 1 inch by 1 inch cubes fit into this rectangular prism. Okay, so let's do the next one together. I'm going to look and see what I have. I have a length, I have a width, I have a height. So I'm going to use this formula. 9.3 times 2.4 times 6.8. Now I'm going to use my calculator to try to figure out the volume. 9.3 times 2.4 times 6.8 is going to give you a volume of 151 and 776 thousandths centimeters cubed or cubic centimeters. Same, same, um, same thing. Cubic inches. Ooh or centimeters cubed. You could have written inches cubed here or cubic centimeters here. Okay, you could have switched them. Now I'm going to look at the third example they provide me. I don't have a length, I don't have a width, and I don't have a height. So I'm going to choose the new volume formula and I'm going to write it down. Big B or the area of the base times the height. So my volume is going to equal the area of the base right here is actually the top, but if you flip the shape over, it would be the base, is 13 over 2 times 5 thirds. And again, I'm going to do top times top, bottom times bottom. 65 divided by 6 is going to give you a volume of 10.83 with bar notation over the 3 because it's a repeating decimal. I'm also going to show you how to change it into a mixed number. 65 divided by 6. 6 goes into 6 once. 6 goes into 5 zero times. So it's 10 and 5 6 would be an equivalent way to write that volume. Okay, so let's do, um, I'm going to ask you to do, to flip it over now. And let's look and see what we have here. Ooh, I love this one. This is the one I was looking for. Okay. The volume of the rectangular prism is given. Determine the missing measurement using a one-step equation. So now I look at what I have. I don't have a length, a width, a height. I only have an area of this base, and I have, an, and I have a height, and they gave me the volume. So I'm going to use the area formula, volume equals big B, or base times height. 
The volume is 36 fifteenths. The area of my base is 4 fifths times an unknown height. Oh my god, I love it. It's a multiplication equation. I'm going to draw a line down. To undo multiplication, I hope you're all thinking in your head that you have to divide. They use the C word, cancel. And then you take your answer, which is 36 fifteenths, and you divide it by 4 fifths. Because whatever you do to one side of an equation, you have to do it to the other. The only reason I wrote it over here is because I'm lacking some room here. I hope you're thinking about multiplying by the reciprocal. But I know a lot of you in your head are thinking, keep, change, flip. When you do this, you are going to get 180 over 60. 180 divided by 60 gives you a height of 3. And I don't think you're done yet. If you were really a great math student, you would plug that back into your original equation. Your base is 4 fifths for an area. Your height is 3 over 1. Top times top gives you 12. Bottom times bottom gives you 5. And you might be nervous at this point because you get 12 fifths. You might be thinking that you did something wrong, but you didn't. This is times 3 times 3. Okay, these are equivalent. One is just uh, simplified. Okay, so let's do one more together. A company is creating a rectangular prism that must have a volume of 90 feet cubed. The company also knows that the length is 3 feet, the width is 6 feet, and they want to know what the height is. So I'm going to use this formula. Volume is length times width times height. Your volume is 90. Your length is 3. Your width is 6. You don't know your height. Another multiplication equation, but I would do this first. How do I undo multiplication? Division. It's opposite operation. These two cancel. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. And 90 divided by 18 is going to give you a height of 5. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. And hopefully you took really good notes so we can flip the classroom tomorrow. Please complete this extension credit, um, extension activity if you want to if you want extra credit. Have a great night, guys. See you tomorrow.